The images may not seem revealing, but they tell airport security a whole lot. The government is putting money into new body scanners to thwart terrorist activity in flight. Well, new tools, new technology are always beneficial. Authorities believe body scanners may spot dangerous materials carried onto flights. Passengers will now have the option of going through a metal detector, a pat-down search, or going through a body scan that would be viewed remotely by a TSA agent. Governments are responsible for security and governments are responsible for the costs that are associated with any new equipment or procedures that come along with that. The new machines will cost about $150,000 each. The TSA is setting up body scanners throughout the country. So far, 10 airports will receive 150 machines, all bought with federal stimulus money that President Obama signed into law in 2009. The Transportation Security Administration has spent years on testing full body imagers. Plans to deploy them this year were given added urgency after the arrest of Nigerian man Umar Farouk Abdul Matalib, accused of attempting to detonate an explosive sewn into his underwear on a December 25th flight. But the scanners are causing controversy over issues of discrimination. An 80 year old gentleman who'd served his country and the guy was pulled aside and harassed and searched. Yet young Muslim men are not treated any differently. What federal regulation prevents you from singling out young Muslim men and giving them a little more attention than an 80-year-old Medal of Honor winner? Questions from Texas Congressman John Culberson during a congressional hearing have raised concerns from members of the Muslim community. It's one more example of someone uh, in a position of power speaking before they think or even maybe before they think about uh, recent events. Um, we can see some recent examples that prove that uh, profiling people based on their religion or even their age is not going to catch people who are out to hurt people. But the first wave of scanners are already on their way, not only testing the effectiveness of airline security, but also boundaries of privacy and profiling. Colin Campbell, Washington.